Hey guys, looks like we're finally through with the cold weather around here. I sure hope so anyway. We just finished up a morning where it's like 37, 38 degrees. And for the second week of May, that's not too good. But looking at the 10 day forecast, eight to 10 days, uh, 75 to 85 in that range and looking really good right now. So it's time to get the rest of these tomatoes in the ground. And before you put any type of transplant in the ground, you need to get your soil in as good a condition as you possibly can with what you have to work with. I'm sure you've heard the saying, I'd rather put a 10 cent plant in $10 soil than have a $10 plant and put it in 10 cent soil. It's all about the soil. Good soil will take a bad plant and make something out of it. Poor soil will take a good plant and break your heart. And let me add this for anybody who was wondering, yes, I have seen the Back to Eden film. It's a very inspirational uh, documentary. Uh, I enjoyed it. I watched it twice, about a year apart, the second time with a totally different perspective. And it has a lot of good points to it, but it's not something that fits my style of gardening out here. I do like to use wood chips. I like them very much to use as a mulch. I like to use wood chips that have been composted for a few years and they're almost like soil. They've already broken down and they're really good to work with. Like just about everything else in gardening, there is no one size fits all or there is no one best method to do pretty much anything. Now where I'm planting at today, the soil isn't the best in the world. It's a situation where I keep working with it the best I can with what I have to work with around here and I like to use compost and manure as much as possible. Right now, I don't have any horse manure, so I'm using the goat. What I do is open up the furrow, and I take the backhoe, get me a big scoop, and I start shoveling that uh, compost and manure into the furrow. That's where the plants are gonna be growing at. That's where I wanna put my compost at. I'm not worried about down the center of the rows, not trying to feed the weeds. I wanna put my compost as efficiently as possible where the plants are going to be growing at. Yes, it does take a little bit of time to do this, but you're only going to put those plants in the ground one time, so you need to make sure you do it right. After I get my compost spread in there nice and even, I'll come back and uh, put some granular fertilizer in there to uh, add my NPK to it, because as good as the compost is, it doesn't have all of the nutrients that a plant needs to be able to grow. So I need to add a little bit of fertilizer to it then I'll come back and I'll take the walk behind tiller, till that all up real good, mix it in, then I'm ready to start planting. When it comes to planting, you got two primary methods. Either dig a hole and put that thing down deep, or dig a trench and lay it sideways horizontally. I think it's pretty much common knowledge by now that a tomato plant is a vine. It will root all along that stem. Anywhere you cover it up, or anywhere that stem happens to touch the ground, it's gonna try to root. If you buy your plants from the store, and you get those little things at about you know, eight, 10 inches tall, it's real simple. Break off all the leaves except for maybe the top three, dig your hole, bury that thing up to those top three leaves, piece of cake. But if you're in a situation like most of us who start our own seeds, we end up with plants that are 12, 16, 18, 24 inches tall, sometimes taller than that. And it's a little bit more difficult when it comes time to plant. So we get all the leaves off, we're gonna dig us a hole and put this thing way down deep in the ground. And you start with the little trowel and you figure out, well, that ground ain't exactly soft. So you go get the post hole digger, you're gonna dig some deep holes and bury this thing, you know, 16 inches deep in the ground. Then you start coming up with this old sticky red clay or you have a garden that's kind of in a low lying area and it kind of stays damp down there. And the deeper you go, the wetter it gets. The sticky clay, and the really wet soil, neither of those are conducive to planting in a deep hole. But planting in a deep hole does have a serious advantage if your soil conditions are right. If you're in a situation where you expect a dry summer or your garden dries out real fast, you want to put that thing as deep as you can because there'll be more moisture down in the ground as opposed to up close to the surface. So planting in a deep hole is a serious advantage in a dry drought situation. But if you got really bad soil down underneath it or you got really wet stuff, what's the answer? Simple, just dig you a trench, lay your plants in there, cover them up nice and neat, and you'll be in good shape. Up there close to the top, that plant should have no problem getting oxygen. It'll be easy to feed and water it, no problem whatsoever. So planting in a trench, 
really helps out when you have that poor soil down below and you don't want to put your plants roots down into it. You want to keep it up where you got your best soil condition. At the same time, planting in a trench has a serious disadvantage in that those roots are going to dry out a whole lot faster because they're up near the surface, which means you're going to have to water it a whole lot more often. If you have a good watering system where you can keep those plants watered, then it's not a problem at all. But if you happen to be in an area where you don't have access to water or you anticipate a dry summer, that's usually what happens in your area, then it's best to dig that deep hole and plant it deep. So when it comes to planting the tomatoes, the two options, planting it down deep or planting it in a shallow trench, they both have some serious advantages and disadvantages. So how do you answer the question, what is the best way to plant a tomato? To me, I think it's pretty simple. The best way to plant a tomato is the way that most fits the soil conditions that you have in front of you, plain and simple. Match the soil conditions with the proper method and you should make a bumper crop of tomatoes. So I hope that was helpful. Y'all take care and Lord willing, I'll see you next time. If you found this video to be helpful, informative, entertaining, or just downright funny, don't forget to subscribe.